Hi guys, I did actually start this video off two days ago. This will be a vlog, but I hate those videos where people like clickbait you and they're like, spend 10,000 pounds and it's a 45 minute vlog of them doing like dishes or something. In the middle there's like one item. It annoys me. If you came for the luxury unboxing, which I'm pretty sure you did because that's the main purpose of this channel, then let's get straight into it. The Dior stuff will go through after I actually unbox that this morning. Chanel stuff I actually unboxed. <laughs> In the vlog, we're gonna get into the most exciting part. I picked up another pair of Amino Muadis. I don't actually know which ones these are. I picked up three pairs in this video. I am so excited to unbox these. These are just very rapidly becoming my favorite pair of shoes. If you guys follow me on Instagram, I frequently post every time I see that they come back in stock. The most popular styles, the Bagans, are very, very difficult to get a hold of. However, shout out to everyone that has contacted me to offer me a pair. I've had people from different stores get in touch to let me know that they work at particular stores and will offer me what they haven't posted online. I really appreciate that. You guys are amazing. These are a pair that I managed to pick up. These are honestly a magical pair of shoes. I know I said I wouldn't get the black, but I couldn't resist. I mean, the black, they're very different to the Manolos. They're a completely different style of shoe. They are actually quite stunning. So we now have the black Bagums, the first pair of shoes I really wanted to get. They are in satin with the famous embellishment on the front and the classic Amina Mwadi heel. Such a lovely pair of shoes. Honestly, wow, these are so comfortable. I wore the lime with my Lime Kelly. It was a contact from level in dubai mall sent me if you can hear the bell that's chai i've now put the bell on her she's actually wearing a cat bell and it's because i just need to know where she is at all times she's one of those that just like runs around and you have no idea anyways so my contact at level she messaged me saying she just received a new batch of amina muadis and there was a bunch of shoes that were on pre-order which hadn't been posted yet or put out in store and she's like if you want to see i can check what we have in your size she sent me a pair that they had in my size and within seconds i was like yes i will take them this wasn't my first option but it was a pair of shoes which i really really wanted from a previous collection but they reintroduced in a new style here we have the bagums well they're not really the bagums but like they're like a full shoe. They released these originally like this in this style with the sling back, but then they reintroduced these with a proper full on heel. Now, I actually wore these, I tried them on, but I put them back in the box for the video. They don't fit as comfortably as the sling backs. These sling backs are much more comfortable than these. I feel like these don't really have much support on the back, even though they are a 35 and a half, which is my true size. Kind of feel like they slip off. The PVC is very soft, which is amazing. I don't like like that hard PVC, which just like cuts into your foot. I don't feel like that will happen with these. These are really beautiful. I really wanted these. Then I found a pair on Harrods. Initially, I really wanted the pink, but the pink was sold out of my size. I really want to get that blue. They have like an electric blue, but I found this pair before I found these two. And they are actually a pair my sister has. She got them at Harrods before I did. She didn't tell me. They are the new style rosy. So these are again a PVC shoe with a crystal bow as opposed to the round thing. But still such a beautiful pair. These are in size 36. The only issue I have with these is that the back is slightly loose. The strap on the back is not as secure obviously as this one. There's no elastic so it's literally just PVC. We're having an Amina Wadi moment, a Cinderella shoe moment. These are beautiful beautiful shoes they're so comfortable i need to get these particular shoes in every color i did say i wasn't going to be a pvc shoe kind of girl you won't catch me in those five pound pvc shoes like it's not happening although saying that your feet do get steamy in these steamy is not okay how do you get rid of the steam i really don't want steam in my shoes it's just that condensation is just not okay on the shoe it's just absolutely not okay of course i picked up something from my favorite farfetch Ooh. I forgot about this. This is, if you guys watched my previous Farfetch video, you would have seen I got this really beautiful like zebra print skirt from the Attico, which I was obsessed with. Then I said I wanted to get the khaki, so I got the khaki and, oh, she's cute. I think I'm gonna wear this this weekend with the lime shoes, even the PVC shoes. It's got like a paper bag 
kind of waist which I really love it cinches you in it's got this adjustable strap detailing so you can tighten it as much as you want it's got these beautiful pockets on the front they are real pockets and it's got pockets on the back which are real pockets we love the detailing we really do if you guys are considering getting the skirt definitely do it because you will not regret it honestly such a lovely piece I don't know if you guys watched my recent well no, I say recent, but it's been like a few months since I've been back in London. I did a home haul. I love home shopping. And I actually got this for my new home in Dubai. This is the exact same bunny rabbit that I got for my sister's apartment in London. A Paul's Potten piggy bank. And you put the money in his bum. They did have one which was lying like this and had like a money hole here. She's fascinated by this. Wow. You can take out the money here. I feel like this is just kind of one of those novelty pieces that you just put on like a desk, a shelf, console table, somewhere, you know. And it's just like a conversation starter piece. Something that's like eye-catching, something that's entertaining, but also like goes with the decor. I've always been into quirky pieces. I'm definitely gonna be decorating my home with quirky little pieces. I tried to do that to my sisters and she just wasn't having it. If you guys are here for the home hauls, I will be doing some more little quirky home hauls because you know I love them. Let's skip to the actual beginning of this vlog. I'm home to this lovely letter from Chanel and a package from Chanel. I was out all day. Ooh. Oh my God, what? <gasps> wow. And they gave me a gift. I'm actually so flattered. They sent me, what is this? A keychain. Wow. Honestly, so thoughtful. Thank you so much, Chanel. Chanel's pleased to offer you this key ring made by Goldsmith Goosens, inspired by the resemblance of between the monogram, Catherine de, Mi de Medici in the Chateau de... Da -da -la 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 -la. Right. I'm not going to pretend to know how to pronounce any of these words in here. I am so honoured to have received this. Was definitely not expecting that. With compliments from Chanel not for sale, Chanel 2020. I'm so flattered that they thought I, me, some random human, was important enough to receive this. I am beyond flattered. Thank you so much. Do you like Chanel? Yeah, you do. You like Chanel. Okay, so I just got home. I got another package from Amina Mwadi and I picked up something from one of my favourite homeware brands. I will show you guys tomorrow. In case you're wondering what that noise is, she's stolen the cat's toy. You like mousey, don't you? Well, it was a mouse, but... Okay. okay, completely forgot to do a proper unboxing, but today I need what's in this bag. Therefore, we're going to just quickly unbox it together. Receipt. I saw this on a few influencers. Look, usually I don't like the things that get promoted by influencers, especially when it comes to designer brands. They give them the ugliest stuff because obviously they need them to sell it the hardest. That's what I've gathered. But... This piece. This was something I needed <laughs> for this season. Every Christmas, I buy Christmas pajamas. Usually from M&S, because I love M&S. It's now a tradition. However, I saw this one, and it has horoscopes all over it. I was sold because I saw the Aquarius. And I was like, yep, it's the only horoscope that stands out to me, because I love that. My rising sign is also Gemini, which is right now. Love that for us. Actually, I don't know. I've been told it might have, might be a Cancer, but I don't feel emotional, so it must be a Gemini. Here is my new pajama top. I'm still waiting on the trousers. I got this in a size 38. It's slightly oversized, but I love it. I'm gonna wear it like over shorts, opened up. Could be a little fine. Oh my God, there's another Aquarius. It's like, oh. The other ones are irrelevant. <laughs> Aquarius again. Do you like it, Chai? No. <laughs> Before I end the vlog. <laughs> of course, another pair of shoes just came in from Level. My sales associate there is amazing. She managed to get me a pair. Oh, I didn't really want this pair, if I'm honest. But you know what? can't ever have too many shoes. Options are great. We love options. You guys know I love a good option. Here we have the Aminas in purple. <laughs> I was really hesitant to get this color because purple is just not my color. I have one purple bag. 
and uh, no purple shoes. But now we have a match. So I got the Aminas to match the purple Chanel bag. That's that's very sad. I mean, they're kind of cute together. I really love the difference in purple colors, like the shades. I love how this is like a violet. What would you call this? It's just really lovely. So I would end this video here with my lovely little baby Chai. I will see you guys in my next video. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, tap that bell to get notified every time I upload. Bye. Bye. Say bye, my baby. Oh, thank you.